Hello and welcome to another episode of the Daily Roundup. I am Aditi and today we are bringing to you a few of the latest and most important stories from around the nation and the world. Thousands of economically weaker section category students who took admission in private schools in the national capital under the Right to Education Act in 2011 are at a huge risk of dropping out as they enter into class 9 in the current academic session. The situation is tense as the parents of these students have been asked to pay the full fees or take their students out of school. The point to be noted here is the validity of the Right to Education Act. It mandates free and compulsory education to students between 6 to 14 years up to class 8 only. Delhi was among the first states to implement the Right to Children to Free and Compulsory Education Act, popularly known as RTE Act, which came into force from April 2010 after which students were admitted in various schools. The situation is expected to get worsened in the next two years as those students who entered schools in nursery will reach class 9 in the coming years. It has been learnt that despite several red flags being raised to the Ministry of Human Resources and Development, no step has been taken yet. Newsclick spoke to RTE activist Akshok Agarwal who blamed the government for this situation. He said, and I quote, In Delhi, private schools running on government land are required to impart education up to class 12. But students studying in other schools may not be that lucky. I met Union HRD Minister three times and I was ensured that necessary actions will be taken. Their reluctance completely shows that they are not concerned about the education and the future of these children. A random test conducted on two batches of Johnson & Johnson's baby shampoo samples in Rajasthan has found traces of the chemical formaldehyde a known carcinogen. Johnson & Johnson, a well-established baby care product brand, has been in the news for the past one year after the authorities launched an investigation into J&J's baby powder to see if it contains cancer-causing asbestos. However, J&J said it had resumed the production of the baby talc after government tests found no asbestos in the product. The latest test reports have been sent to the central laboratory. The Rajasthan Drugs Controller has kept two batches of J&J Baby Shampoo till a final decision on the product is taken after the second test by the Central Lab. In our international segment, we are taking you to Colombia, where a peaceful protest was carried out by the members of indigenous, peasant and Afro-descendant communities. These communities have been mobilizing in the southwest of the country for the past 25 days, demanding that President Ivan Duque meet the social organization and address their demands. However, like other protests, this march was also attacked and faced violence by state forces. Earlier, in the University of Valle, while students mobilized in support of the Minga march and denounced the assassination of their comrade Jonathan Landines, there was an explosion near the office of the trade union Centronicol which left three injured and one dead. The explosion is still being investigated. The student leaders have pointed out that the Colombian government is ignoring systematic violence to indigenous communities, failing to enact peace programs that were designed to end five decades of armed conflict and violating over a thousand legal agreements that protect minority groups. In the principal cities of Colombia, mobilizations in solidarity with the Minga have been held and many organizations are preparing for the national civic strike that will begin on April 25 across the country. That is it for today. To get to know more about these and several other issues, log on to our website www.newsclick.in, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching.